Law enforcement wants to make sure that drivers know about a major change coming up to our state driving laws. Major law change indeed. Starting July 1st, it will be illegal in New Hampshire for drivers to use a cell phone without a hands free device. Obviously, it's a law designed to save lives, but some drivers admit it's going to be a tough habit to break. If you drive at all, then it's hard to miss. And I see people weaving and stopping and going, stopping and going and weaving. I think it's a real problem. I mean, how many people do you see just on a red light texting that just stay there and don't move? But in a day and age when cell phones have almost become an extension of the hand, Chandra Aldridge admits putting it down while driving has proven difficult. It's really hard to put it down, though, with a lot of communicating. And Chandra is from Vermont, a state that's already changed its laws to go hands free as her daughter often points out. She's like, Mom, you better watch the road. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, I know, sorry. According to public safety officials, distracted driving could soon surpass drunk driving in terms of the dangers on the road. And through an informational blitz, they are trying to get the word out ahead of the change in New Hampshire. Through handouts on traffic stops to public service announcements and road signs, the message is clear. Distracted driving isn't just against the law soon. It's just not cool. Culturally, um, this will become less and less socially acceptable and already has been. That a lot of the motoring public accepts and understands the dangers of distracted driving. After July 1, a first offense is 100 bucks, but it stretches to 500 for multiple offenses. But the best argument to go hands free might come from those next to you. There are temptations there, but I don't do it because I promised my kids I wouldn't. It is a promise worth keeping. And moving forward, police are making sure that you can't say that you haven't been warned. And if you'd like more information about the Driving Towards Zero program and tools that parents can use to educate their kids and themselves, you can find a link on our website at WMUR.com.